Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Planet Crafter, another episode of my Let's Play. So, we got some grass spreaders going. We got clouds, we got rain, we got all kinds of good stuff. What comes after rain? Liquid water. Alright, so that probably means there's going to be a lake down here. So, all right, first thing I need to do, uh, a couple people mentioned um, the atmospheric water collector um, does not work like I surmised it did. Um, I was thinking it would cause the lake to happen. That's not how it works. Um, what it does do is you go into it and it gives you water bottles periodically. Um, because, yeah, I want to deconstruct. Because as we heat up the planet, this ice that we can pick up, it's not going to be there to pick up forever, right? Because we're heating the planet. So the ice that's blocking tunnels, as that melts, this ice is going to melt too. So we're going to need these atmospheric water collectors to give us water. Um, and we don't want it down there because this is going to be full of water at some point, right? So we're going to want it up here, obviously. Probably want a couple more as well. Um, but I'm going to need more power before I add anything else. Should be able to make one more, or not make one more. Should be able to put this one back down. Easy peasy. All right. Because, you know, when you deconstruct something, you get everything back, right? You're essentially picking up and moving it. Uh, so power, though. How do I want to add power? Because I'm only, I mean, I have 40-some power, but that can disappear really quickly. Um, I don't want to make any more nuclear reactors until I get more uranium. Um, somebody did tell me in the comments that I need to go way east to find uranium. So maybe I'll do that later, but that might be next episode. One thing I definitely want to do, though, is get an ore extractor down. Um, 34 energy for that. So before we get an ore extractor, let's get a couple more Tier 2 solar panels. So we need cobalt, we need aluminum. Oh, biolab. So actually, let's look at the biolab. Where's the biolab at? Right there. So, ooh, osmium, two osmium, three super alloy. And an aluminum it also needs power all right so let's let's get power going so we need cobalt we need aluminum aluminum we have in storage we don't have a lot of aluminum left in storage we're uh we're chewing through it pretty fast okay put these seeds away all right so we need some cobalt here and and where are we going to put the bio lab i guess we'd probably put it right out here Go through the, or, or there, I guess. Let's get some more foundations down. All right, how much iron? Do I have enough iron on me? All right, so let's get some foundies down here. Clip in right there. Hold control so that we can make more than one at a time. And that all, the, oh, that's all the iron I had. Okay, so I need iron. I probably have some in storage, but I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna go down here to this thing that's going to be a lake soon, and I'm gonna grab all the iron that's down here. Is that? Because uh, I'm assuming once, well, like once it's a lake, once there's water down here, I won't be able to come and 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 mine stuff, right? I mean, that's me making an assumption, but I feel like that's a safe assumption, <laughs> right? And I could be wrong. I could definitely be wrong. I'm sure somebody will let me know. But, uh, but yeah, actually, there's still a lot of ice left, though. But, yeah, I'm just going to use the water collectors. But, yeah, I guess I'm kind of all over the place. I'm trying to do, like, three different things at once. Trying to expand power. Trying to get the biodome. Trying to get the ore extractors. So probably just focus on one. Probably focus on power first. Right? Um... We don't have a wind turbine over here. I should probably pick that up. I know wind turbines don't give very much power. I actually have two wind turbines down here. So I'm assuming once they're underwater, <laughs> they won't work anymore. Actually, I probably can't pick them up right now because I'm uh, too full. I have too much stuff. So let's go spend some of this iron. And grab some cobalt as well because that's what we needed to make solar panels, right? Actually, I should be able to make a solar panel right now. But let's uh, let's get up a bit higher <laughs> before I start uh, placing solar panels. 
probably just the one. I don't think I have enough cobalt for more than one. No, and that's fine. How about, how about now? Is this going to be too low? Is this going to be underwater? No, I feel like this is high enough. Although, I don't know. Uh, I don't want to magnesium. Magnesium, super close. Right there, though. Not far. You generally don't have to go far for magnesium, in my experience. I'm going to need some oxygen here soon, too. Getting kind of low. All right, that should be enough for a biodome. So let's go refill my oxygen. Get some more foundations down. Then we'll get the biodome. And then we will uh, get the ore extractor going. Might as well wait till my oxygen's actually full. Yeah, I mean, wind turbines generate. Where's the wind turbine? Right here. 1.2 energy. <laughs> that's not 12, that's 1.2. Yeah, if two of my wind turbines go underwater, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Honestly. All right, so foundations. I think I got enough iron. I should be able to place quite a few. Yeah, hydration level low. That's fine. I got water on me. Oh, can I not place it there because of that rock? That kind of sucks. All right, well, let's... We'll try to place it here. All right, so I need two super alloy and two osmium. Let's eat some food, let's drink some water. Let's see if I have any super alloy. If I, if I don't, I can make some. And osmium, I believe I have enough osmium, yes. And I do have super alloy, perfect. All right, so I might not be able to place this here. I may have to, may have to find somewhere else for it. Oh, no, it looks like it might go right like that. Kind of hanging, but whatever. See if I can actually get in there. I sure can. All right, Biolab. Got here. We can make bacteria samples. We need algae for that and water bottles. Water bottles we can get. Algae, not so much. Bioplastic nuggets needs water bottles, silicon, and mushrooms. No idea where to get mushrooms. Fertilizer, algae, eggplant, sulfur, fertilizer tier two, methane, cartridge, squash, algae, explosive powder. Interesting. Sulfur and iridium. That I could make. And mutagen. Bacteria sample, methane, cartridge, and sulfur. All right, well. None of this does anything for me right now. Does it create anything? No, it just burns 40 energy. <laughs> that was kind of a waste because I can't use any of this yet. That kind of sucks. All right. Um, when's this unlock? 25 kilograms, algae generator tier two. Well, where's the algae generator tier one? <laughs> Would be my question. Right? Where's the algae generator tier one come from? Is it on one of these? Nuclear reactor, flower spreader, gas extractor, or extractor tier two and three. Lake water collector. Flex and filters water from water surfaces. Backpack tier five. Biomass screen. Another screen. Seed spreader. Seed spreader rocket. Okay. <laughs> DNA manipulator. Super Alley Pod, Exoskeleton Tier 3. I'm not seeing um, algae spreaders. Yeah, like tree spreader Tier 2. Where's the, the Tier 1 come from, though? Biodome Tier 2. Oh, there's Algae Generator Tier 1. There's my answer. Grows underwater algae, generates biomass, place on a water surface. All right, so we'll have to put those in the lake. Biodome Tier 2, Drill Tier 4. So. We got a biodome, or bio, this is biodome. We got the uh, bio lab, biodome, bio lab. Um, we can't do anything with it yet, but we will eventually. So let's get a ore extractor going out in the aluminum area. 
So we need two osmium iridium rod, super alloy, titanium, aluminum. Uh, no titanium. We can find titanium easy enough. Super alloy. Uses 34 energy. Okay, we need an iridium rod. Did not mean to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Craft myself an iridium rod. Okay, now he's got to find a titanium. Double check the power. Yeah. Maybe I should put another tier two solar panel down. <laughs> Magnesium, two cobalt, and I will need another aluminum. Magnesium, so we need a couple of cobalt. That shouldn't be hard to find. In theory, at least. I guess I could deconstruct this until I actually need it. I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it for now. It's just, it's it's using 40 energy, right? It's using 40 power and it's not doing anything for me. So I'm kind of tempted to, to remove it. Oh, all right. Get a solar panel down. And then I think I can do my ore extractor. I just need what, a titanium, I think I said? I can't even remember. But hey, if you're enjoying the video, enjoying this series in general, do me a favor, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. Yeah, I just need titanium. That we should be able to find en route. I hope. Uh, I see magnesium. Yeah, there'll be some. There's some right there. I'm sure there's some in the way. Yeah, right there. Titanium's not usually hard to find. Right? Like, that's not a... That's not one to stress over, for sure. Uh, yeah. All right. So if I understand the ore extractor, we put it down. It'll get random things, like including aluminum. Like if I put it over there, it'll just give me random things that can be found in, in, in the field. If I put it over here, it'll be the same thing, but it's everything that can spawn over there plus aluminum, right? I think, and I could be wrong. Somebody let me know if I am. That's my interpretation of how it works. And I come over, check the chest, take whatever's in there. Perfect, so I will have to come over here periodically. Um, but while I'm over here, might as well check for any just ground aluminum, right? You never have too much aluminum, for sure. At this point, aluminum is probably the most valuable thing I can I could find. Well, I guess you can make the argument for osmium, since that's like the new the new hotness, right? Uranium would be nice too, because then I could make more nuclear power plants. But that's kind of a pipe dream type thing, right? And you know, if I didn't put that in a smart place, somebody let me know in the comments. Um, don't I have a pod over here somewhere? Right there. So I am getting kind of low on oxygen. But I think just anywhere. I think it's like just biome dependent, right? But I could be wrong. I, I don't really know. Obviously, it's my first ore extractor, right? But we will see. Eh, I'm not really seeing any, any more in the ground. I mean, we got a few. We got a few. Because aluminum is, I mean, it's used in a lot of stuff. Plus, it's used to make super alloy, right? And those are the things that are hardest to find right now, right? Yeah, let's head back to the ore extractor and see if there's anything in it right now. See how fast this thing makes. See how fast it makes stuff. Not very fast, but it did give me aluminum. Or maybe, and... And I could be wrong, maybe it's just going to give me aluminum, which is even better. It looks like it's working on aluminum right now. I'm trying to see, like, is there a progress bar? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm probably going to want several of these, right, eventually. But I'm not really at that point just yet. So now what do I want? What's the next step for me here? 
trying to think more grass spreaders maybe like I want uh, all right let's go back I, I want to go in my biodome I want to get the biodome stuff going faster right and I want to start getting like the tier four heat like the tier four heater can go outside right that would be very good um but you need I forget if it's heat or oxygen that unlocks that maybe I should make some tier three vegetubes yeah, it is oxygen that unlocks that. And it's like, I'm a long ways away. It's 63 PPB. I'm at 1.5 PPB. So I am a long way from the tier four heater, right? Um, obviously the algae generator would be good, but I don't even have the water yet. So that's not a big deal. Nuclear reactor is not really important. Flower spreader would be cool, I guess. I'm a long ways from that. I think I'm getting to the point in the game where like, Unlock, slow down a bit, right? Oh, the backpack be nice. Meteors, don't wreck my solar panels. Please. <laughs> Pretty please. Alright, so I don't think... I don't think ice is used to make anything other than water bottles, right? Alright, so vegetable tier 3 needs water bottles. Okay, so this is pretty basic. Water bottles, silicon, magnesium. I don't have any silicon on me. I got quite a few water bottles. I don't have any oxygen, but that's fine. So <laughs> I definitely don't want to go exploring right now. So I have no <laughs> no oxygen things. How much power do these take up though? 7.25. That makes me wonder. I should put some. Should make some solar panels. Just the basics. All right, so I'm just gonna go gather some basic. Oh, look at that iron right there. Hey, get back here. Stop trying to roll away from me, you. Where are you going? Just stay still. Any other good stuff around? Oh yeah, look at this. This is what I needed. <laughs> How convenient for me. Actually, I don't think I need a titanium for anything, but. All right, let's go check this water collector. Is it, like, how quick does it make water? I took two out of it earlier. Oh, wow, it's full already. All right, so it makes it pretty quick. I'm actually going to take these and throw them in. I don't know, throw them somewhere. I'm going to need them eventually, right? I just don't know when exactly. Food? Put them in the food thing? I know they're not technically food, but... I don't need the titanium right now, I don't think. Alright, so we're doing power first, right? So I need magnesium, cobalt. Magnesium and cobalt are not hard to find. It shouldn't be, anyway. And I'm picking up the silicon, because silicon's a little more rare, generally. Lots of magnesium around. I don't know, maybe I should go looking for uranium. Maybe I should go looking for that uranium mine. I don't know. Uh, I, was, I was told it was hard to find. I got general directions there. Because that's why, I, I, oh, aluminum. That's why I always say, you know, feel free to give me, like, vague spoilers. Just don't, like, give me super specific spoilers, right? For the people that have played this before. Or if I'm, like, completely lost or doing something completely wrong. Like, multiple people mentioned, you know, no, no, no. You don't want your water thing down there. You want it up here, right? Which is good, because then I knew to go pick it up, right? <laughs> How many can I make? Yes, one. Cobalt is the issue. All right, so I'm just going to go gather some basic stuff around here, and then I'll come back when I got something more interesting than cobalt harvesting to do. All right, so I added several more solar panels. So we're now at 502 uh, energy production, only consuming 332. I did deconstruct the bio lab. There's just no reason to have it. I, I couldn't use it. I mean, it was using up 40 energy. Really no reason. Plus, I'd rather have it. I don't want it hanging out the, over the edge like it was. It was kind of kind of ugly. I didn't like it. Um, I also went and gathered up a bunch of materials for tier 3 vegetubes. So uh, let's get some tier 3 vegetubes down. Oh yeah, nice and small. They don't use a whole lot of energy. 
uh, what did they say? Four I could make. Let's hold control and make them all at once. And I think that's all I can make. Let's say I just need water and magnesium. I could make more. Magnesium and water. I mean, I have water in here. Magnesium's not hard to find. But I need seeds. All right, so what are my best seeds here? Um, I got a golden seed somewhere, don't I? Right there. The tusk is 400, 200, 300. So tusk is for sure. All right, so yeah, I'm going to make one more. So I need to go grab one more magnesium. I can make one more of these, and my oxygen production should do way up, right? Once I have this, I can't pass up iron. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't walk by iron. It's, it's a weakness. It's a fault of mine. <laughs> Silicon's hard to pass up to, to be fair. <laughs> All right, so another veg tube. And let's go. So, golden seed. That makes 78 plus, plus 78 auction. This one does 52. This one will also do 52. That's so this one. And you're not going to believe it. This one also does 52. <laughs> so my auction should shoot way up. Which is good. Um, not that my auction is low. Oh my god, it's not even moving though. Why is my auction number not moving? Oh, there it goes. It's just not expressed. I think it just went up to a higher significant value, right? So we are along, even with those, it's still moving pretty slow. Holy crap. But once we get more plant type stuff, maybe I should make some flower pots. Place a seed to grow a flower inside. How is that better than a veg tube? I wonder. Oh, they don't use power. Oh, they don't use power. <laughs> um. Oh, well, we need fertilizer. Okay, well, I can't do fertilizer yet. That's in the bio lab, but we don't have them, right? We don't have what we need. And that's okay. Um, I was going to make a couple of more heaters as well get more heat going but those use iridium rods and i don't have that much iridium left i mean i could deconstruct these tier two heaters because they make um their two iridium a pop oh i hit the liquid water phase Ooh, next is lakes all right so what does liquid water mean for me i mean it rains all the time we were already raining though water going to start pooling down there that would be that would seem more for lakes right oh well we'll find out soon enough i was going to do something else so all right let's go check the ore extractor let's see how much aluminum and is it only aluminum or is there several different things over here i may add another ore extractor but I'm assuming it's going to be raining like all the time now. That's probably what like water phase means. But that's me making an assumption and making assumptions is dangerous. But I'm going to assume this is pretty full, right? I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I have no idea. There could be four things in here. It could be full. Hey, I can make signs, which is all right, I guess. Oh, and baby, lots of aluminum. I should probably hit the iridium cave again. Okay, so it's mostly aluminum, but it's a little bit of everything, and that's fine. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to redo my storage room, I think. Or I'm going to have to make a proper storage room um, and have, like, a, a storage locker for everything. Like, have give iron its own chest, give silicon its own chest, right, rather than have, like, basics because that's just going to fill up too fast. And it'll, it'll be better for content creation, too, because I can kind of... I can go around, just gather the basics, put them in their chests, and I don't have to do that while recording. As we get more, you know, advanced, I'll want to spend my time recording, you know, exploring, you know, going for the, the more rare materials, whatnot, I would say. So let's go put as much of this away as we can. So iron... Silicon, and we're full. Let's 
put all this aluminum away. Like, aluminum has its own box, although we got pulsar quartzes in there for now. I'm assuming pulsar quartzes are used at some point later on. All right, so I haven't been in this iridium cave in forever. I went in early on. Well, I guess I shouldn't say that. I came through here. I was exploring last episode, but I haven't gone in here specifically to mine iridium in a long time, right? Which is fine. Um, I remember when I got lost in here and died, even though I was actually right by the exit. So it looks like there's all kinds of iridium around. You can see it from here. Which is good, because we need a lot. Thought that was aluminum for a sec. Alright, so yeah, I'm only going to pick up iridium. Or, if I see aluminum or super alloy, I'm not going to turn those down. But as much as I love iron, we'll be no picking up iron. <laughs> but we do need iridium, because I would like to get another big heater or two. I am tempted to pick up ice, though, because, like... How much longer is there going to be ice, right? It's not going to be ice forever. And then what? Then I have my water collectors. So probably build another water collector, right? Maybe that should be a little higher on my priority list. I was going to do that today, and then I just didn't because I get sidetracked easily. Because <laughs> I am human, unfortunately. All right, well, lots of iridium. Oh, can we get you? Yes, we can. Yeah, I should probably upgrade my mining speed thing that I have. Oh, chest. Aluminum, yep. And the chest. No. Blueprint, uranium. Ooh, mushroom seeds. Oh, mushroom seeds. That's good, because we know we're going to need mushrooms. Um, space food, aluminum, water bottle, and we are full. Um, let's eat that space food. Construct storage crate. And time to head home. There is obviously more iridium and stuff in here, which is good. So I will come back at uh, at some point and clean this out even further. For now, though, I'm just going to head home and throw everything in storage, I think. But that will... Wait, that's not... No, that's not my base. That's, that's the other area. This is like the... This is the area where I found the sulfur and stuff, right? All right, all right so time to head home. Throw some stuff in inventory. I think next episode, we're going to go look for uranium. Probably. But that will be next episode. That's going to be all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my Discord. Check out my second channel. And still support me on Patreon. Links in the description down below to all those. Most importantly, though, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.